let me ask you a hypothetical questions. Let's just say that you never have to worry about living. You never have to worry about your finances. Everything is taken care of. You never have to worry about paying your rent. You never have to worry about how are you going to put food on the table. What would you do with your life? Would you still do the things that you're doing right now? You know, I've been thinking about both sides of the equation. I can also see why capitalism is set up. On one side, you got people saying, you know, when we don't have, uh, like when we don't have money, when people don't need to work for anything, they, then they would just get lazy and, and the productivity is not going to be there. We're not going to have all these innovations. We're not going to have all this advancement in society. But is that really true? Is is the advancement the only way? Is is the only way that we're going to get to advancement and and progression in society is by whipping people? Is that really true? Or that's the the sales point that they're selling you? I'm not sure. I think we can we can achieve a lot more than what we have today if we operate on the currency of love instead of the currency of money. When everything is taken care of, when people don't feel threatened about their living, everybody would just be sharing resources with others so freely because they, they wouldn't be scared about not having enough for themselves because everybody will be surrounded by abundance. And when we get to that stage, it's going to be a very interesting world to live in. We're going to be living in a world where you're not afraid where you're not worried, where you're not scared, and where you're not in frustration. That's just one part of the equation. We also have to think about what can we do after that? Once people start living free, if they don't do self-actualization, they won't get to the next level. It's like the Maslow's laws of hierarchy, right? On the bottom, you got the, the basic essential stuff that you need. And what, when that's taken care of, the next level of progression is self-actualization. And I believe that's where our potential is. The, the most of our potential, that's where it is. Because I would say like the majority of the population in this world are trapped on this the lower level of Maslow's laws of hierarchy. They're trapped in the level of survival. Their whole life, and sometimes for generations, they're trapped there. All they do is just to find a way to live and to survive. And especially in third world countries, I, I feel very bad for people from that part of the world. They have no options. They, they're almost forced to live that, that way. And I want to help them. I want to help everybody who want to be helped to change. And right now I'm in this very early stage of doing things. I know, I know that there's something different. I just cannot put my, put my hand there, my finger there and figure out I'm almost there but I think it's gonna take some time for me to get there I know I mentioned the self sustainable communities in the last few videos I'm exploring that option but I'm also exploring the option of what else can we do to transform 
from the place of where we're at without ever needing to go somewhere else. How can we escape this trap? Going back to the question that I asked you, what would you do if you had everything that you needed for your survival? What would you what would your self-actualization steps be? What are some questions that will come to your mind? What do you want to do in your life? What do you think your purpose is? The possibilities are endless at that point. I'm not sure if you can see the moon. I'm just by this uh, pond here. Very peaceful and serene. You see that? The moonlight on the lake. Very blissful. I still don't see the the possibility of raising of living free within by existing in the current society because like I said in the previous video when uh, when things get bad when uh, you're forced to pay rent when you're forced to play by the rules of the simulation you're ultimately choosing to be in the game and to be trapped and at the same time not everybody wants to move away so the choice ultimately comes to the person watching this you watching this what would you want to do first of all would you want to get to a place where you don't have to pay for basic survival do you really want to self-actualize do you want to raise your frequency these are the questions that you need to think over take your time until next time, take care, my friends. Bye.